Let's talk about children. So you've worked with children with physical and mental disabilities. You've worked with children of domestic workers and you've worked with children who have autism. How can they use dance and movement to help them with any problems that they face? So again, very different populations, yeah. very different needs. So if you talk about children who are specifically being rescued from very high stress environments like domestic violence and sexual violence, what happens is they're relationship with their body is completely distorted. The way mine was when I was really young and I went through um, the several type of abuses, right? So when your relationship with your body is distorted, you don't feel safe in your body. And if you don't feel safe in your body, you don't feel safe in the world. So the first thing that I do with these populations is can I create a sense of safety within their body? Can I create a sense of cohesion within all the different parts of their body, their brain, their muscles, their energies, and then bring about a sense of community? A big way of working through that is storytelling because it is it's fantasy and it's less scary. Everything that you're going through on an everyday basis is so scary. So can we go back to that sense of play, to that sense of storytelling when you can use metaphors and movements and body language to then communicate a story. The other thing that you want to do you know, with this specific population is awaken a sense of embodied confidence. So there's very specific things that you can do for your lower body. Like I said, strengthening the quads, when, uh, strengthening the quads and strengthening the core, bringing more movement in your spine. All of those things are not only going to create a sense of cohesion and security in the body, but they are going to naturally make you feel confident and touch Touch is a very big thing. So when you go through this sort of trauma, your idea of touch is broken. You don't understand the difference between good touch and bad touch. And touch is such an important thing to be able to access security and power in the body. So we work a lot with touch and re reclaiming that sense of touch in the body, how it can impact your relationship with yourself and also relationship with the other women that are around you. So that is something that I would do specifically when I would work with kids who've gone through sexual or domestic trauma. When it comes to kids who are experiencing mental or physical disability, I work more in the mental disability realm, especially on the autism spectrum. And autism is a spectrum, right? So everybody comes with a lot of different challenges, but some of the top challenges are social connections are difficult for them. The way emotions show up in their body and their relationships are very difficult. So what I am helping them do is make sense of their emotions because a lot of emotions come up for them very quickly and they feel overwhelming. They don't really know how to productively get rid of this emotion or how to productively express this emotion. So for example, if one of my kids on autism is struggling with confusion and anger, the moment they get into that state, they want to, you know, start throwing things and start punching. And, you know, a, a lot of times this behavior is looked at unproductive and sometimes it's like oh you're not being disciplined and you're gonna you know just start yelling at that child which only adds more energy into their space which is not what they need the counter to that is add a lot of calmness in that space that also doesn't work because it's on the opposite spectrum right so what you want to do is you want to take this energy and find a productive way to release it so what i, I join them in their movement. I mirror their movement at them and I slowly start transitioning from this to this, you know, a more structured form of, a more rhythmic form of movement. So all of that energy that feels chaotic now has a very strategic pathway to exit from the body. And the longer they do it, the deeper connection they're able to form between emotion and movement. We don't give children credit. Children are such great learners and they absorb information by observation. So if you can join them in their activating in their mirror neurons, they are going to just blossom instantly. So yeah, I love working with kids on the autism spectrum. They come in with so much different perspective and such raw energy. You get to see them um, at their most heightened state and then you get to work with them on how to release that heightened energy in a very productive manner. 